Hi, we're going to solve this problem using component method. It says here that a map of South Korea suggests that Daegu is 155 kilometers in a direction 22.5 degrees north of east from Gwangju. The same map shows that Seoul is 230 kilometers in a direction 36 degrees west of north from Daegu. Modeling the earth as flat, use this information to find the displacement from Guangzhou to Seoul. So for this problem, we have two given vectors. The first vector is 155 kilometers and then 22.5 degrees north of east. And then yung second vector natin is vector B. So that is 230 kilometers and then 36 degrees west of north we also need to illustrate the problem so we're going to draw a Cartesian plane and then we're going to draw the two vectors So let us start by drawing vector A. So magi start siya sa origin. So 155 kilometers, 22.5 degrees north of east. That means, eto yung vector natin. So let's say this is vector A. Next, we're going to draw vector B from the head of vector A. And it says here, the angle is 36 degrees west of north. So, yung reference point natin for vector B, or the starting point, will be the head of vector A. So, ito yung magiging starting point ng vector B. And the angle says 36 degrees west of north. So, let's say ito yung vector natin, vector B. Right, so 36 degrees west of north. So, yan yung vector B. Now, we're going to connect the tail of vector A to the head of vector B. That will be our resultant vector. Right? So, we're going to connect the tail of vector A to the head of vector B. This will be our resultant vector. To interpret this problem, the starting point of vector A is Guangzhou. So this is Guangzhou. The head of vector A is Daegu. And then the head of vector B is Seoul. In this problem, we need to find the displacement from Guangzhou to Seoul. So that means we need to find the magnitude of vector R. Also, we need to find the direction of vector r. So we will solve the angle of vector r. So ito yan. We're going to solve that angle theta. We also need to construct a table for this component method. And then we're going to put all the values of the x and y components inside the table. So let me draw a table here. The first column will be the vectors. We have three, right? Vector A, vector B, and the resultant vector. The second column will be the X components. And then the third column will be the Y components. So we will start by solving for the X and Y components of vector A. So vector A is here. So we're going to uh, illustrate muna the x and y components of vector A. Let us remove or erase muna natin yung mga locations. So that we can draw the x and y components of the vectors. This vector A has two components. Here is the x component. So we have the x component of vector A and 
the y component of vector a. Here, so ax and ay. You have to remember that we're talking about vectors, so the directions are very important. We have four cardinal directions, right? We have north, south, east, and west. So, tandaan, kapag yung vector or component mo is papuntang north or east, it is positive. Okay? And kung papunta naman siyang west or south, then negative siya. So, for vector A, we have two components. Let us start by solving the x component. To solve that, we're going to use the cosine function. So, bakit cosine? Because this component is adjacent to your reference angle. Ax is adjacent to your reference angle, which is 22.5 degrees. So, Ax is equal to A cosine theta. It is positive kasi papunta siyang east. The value of A according to the problem is 155. So, we're going to insert that here. 155 and then cosine 22.5 degrees. The value of Ax is equal to 143.20 kilometers. So, we're going to write the value inside the table. 143.20 kilometers. For the y component, we're going to use the sine function because the y component is opposite to your reference angle. So, Ay is equal to A sine theta or Ay equals 155 sine 22.5 degrees. The value is 59.32 kilometers. So we can write that value inside the table, 59.32 kilometers. Next step is to find the x and y components of vector b. Let us illustrate first the x and y components of vector b. So ito yung x component niya. And um, here's the y component. Right, so this is bx and this is by. Now for bx or for the x component of vector b, we will now use sine function. Bakit sine? Kasi yung bx is opposite to your reference angle, which is 36 degrees. So, gagamitin natin dyan is sine theta. So, bx is equal to, now we also need to consider the direction of your x component. As you can see, papunta siyang west. So, that means negative siya. Negative b sine theta. The value of b is 230. So, it is negative 230 sine 36 degrees. The value of Bx is equal to negative 135.19 kilometer. Next for By naman, we're going to use cosine. Kasi yung By is adjacent to your reference angle. The direction of your By is to the north, so that means positive siya. So By is equal to 230 cosine 36 degrees. By is equal to 186.07 kilometers. We're going to write those values in the table. So we have 135.19 kilometers and we have 186.07 kilometers. To solve for the x and y components of vector r, we just need to get the sum of all the x components and the y components. Let us illustrate the x and y components of vector r. We can now remove 
the vectors a and b. So we're going to illustrate now the x and y components of vector r. This one is the x component, this one, and then the y component is this one. Right, so we have Rx and we have Ry. We can also erase this angle theta. Let us um, write it inside the triangle. So this one is the angle theta here. So we need to solve that. Again, to compute for the x and y components of vector r, we just have to get the sum of all the x components and y components. So for x component, that is 143.20 kilometers plus negative 135.19 kilometers, which is equivalent to 8.01 kilometers. For y component, 59.32 kilometers plus 186.07, that is equivalent to 200 45.39 kilometers. After completing the table, we can now solve for the magnitude of vector r using Pythagorean theorem. So for the magnitude, we're going to use the formula. The magnitude of vector r equals the square root of rx squared plus ry squared. We just need to substitute the values of rx and ry. So rx is 8.01 squared and then ry is 245.39 squared. The value of the magnitude is 245 point. The value, the value of the magnitude is 245.22 kilometers. Next, we need to solve for the direction. So to solve for angle theta, we need to use tangent function. So tangent theta is equal to ry over rx. Tangent theta is equal to opposite side over adjacent side. As you can see here in this illustration, opposite side of angle theta is ry and the adjacent side is rx. And then we're going to solve angle theta by solving the inverse tangent of ry over rx, the value of ry is 245.39, and then rx is 8.01. The answer is 88.13 degrees. So for our final answer, vector r is equal to 245.39. 22 kilometers, comma, 88.13 degrees. The direction is north of east. So the angle starts from east going to north. That's why it is 88.13 degrees north of east. If you have questions, just write them down on the comment section. Thank you.